Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So we're going a little bit spooky this week with the Halloween week inspired by Luscious Labels. So let's go ahead and get decorating. All right, now I'm gonna use this Halloween kit this week. I feel like Halloween falls on the wrong day because it's next Sunday and by next Sunday another video will go up. I'm on the fence of doing two Halloween weeks, like doing another one that'll go up for the week after Halloween. Please let me know if you'd like to see two Halloween weeks because I'd be, I could be swayed. Um, but for this week, I'm gonna be using this gorgeous kit from Luscious Labels. This is called Haunted Hollows. And it's got uh, your numbers, your days, some deco boxes and bits and pieces. And then I've also grabbed some other stickers from her. So I've got some washi strips, some cobwebs and then some decorative kind of ones to go in here as well but they definitely can't go on a white piece of paper they've got to go on some color so i'm just grabbing a couple of my oxide inks and i just need to decide which color i want to use so i've grab, got my brown brush so that's tea dye i'm leaning towards vintage photo i'm leaning that way this is old paper, which has got a little bit of the vintage photo chucked in with it as well, obviously. And this is antique linen. No, we're going vintage photo. I was worried it was going to be too dark, but I'm comfortable now. So what I'm going to do, this is going to take me a minute. So I'm going to ink up the entire of these pages. Now I want this to be messy. Actually, hold on, before I do, I need to white out the, the, the month at the top. I don't need to white out the days because the days will get covered with the date stickers, so that's fine. But the days, the months need to be whited out because I'm gonna put the washi strips over the top. Uh, I need to take off the Halloween, so I've just grabbed my undo and my trusty tweezers. I'll just put this up here for now and we'll come back to it later. There's a little bit of stick there, so I'm just going to grab an eraser and just gently rub that. I'm not too worried if it's got a bit of a mark there because obviously it'll get covered up and I'll probably put the sticker back there anyway, but I don't want there to be any sticky when I'm using the ink, so I'm just see if I can get most of it off. So, like I said, I'm going to use Vintage Photo all over this. Um, I'm going to grab... I'm always a bit iffy about using my station when it's not with uh, stencils, but this will just hold it still. Less likely it's going to wander all over the place. And it's not... This isn't neat, doesn't need to be perfectly blended. In fact, the messier the not messier the better, but I want it to be messy because I want it to look dirty. That's kind of my my look here. Maybe just a little bit darker than I had anticipated, but it's not it's not far off what I wanted. So I'm just grabbing a bit of water. Apparently I need to go and fill up my water bottle. There we go. So I'm gonna put some flex here. I'm also gonna add 
once I've got my water on, I'm going to add in a couple more depths. It's actually really funny. So I had some ink or some something rough underneath here and it's given me this cool dot effect and I really like it. And just, I almost wish I had something else. I don't know if this will work. So what I'm going to do, this is a embossing folder. It's a uniquely creative one. I'm just sticking the dots, so the raised dots underneath here and I'm just giving this a rub. I just want to see if I can get that same speckle dirty effect. I don't think I'm going to. Ah, it's there a little. But I've got to put more ink on it to do it, which I'm really happy with the way the ink looks. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna leave it. But I just really like the way those spots came up. It just it looks cool. Same thing with the shadows of the stickers on the other side. I just think it looks awesome. Alright, so a bit of water. Just to get some light spots. And then I'll grab a paintbrush and we'll get ready to do the dark spots. Just picking up the excess with the tissue. It hasn't given me what I wanted, so I'm going to put a little bit more water on there in a sec. Actually, also just going to chuck on a little bit of big splotches, big water splotches, and just give a nice aged effect. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay. That's what I want. All right. This is how you get bigger splotches. Water in your hand, pick it up on your fingers, and then kind of chuck it down onto the page. This side's coming up really nicely, it's the other side that's not. That's better. That was what I wanted. I wanted a big splotch. I don't want to pull up too much, but I just like a couple of big, uh, big splotchy bits. Alright, coming in with the Splatters. I'm actually going to bring in a little bit darker brown as well. I want some mess. I want it to look messy. Dirty. So that's a uh, walnut stain. This is the next sort of shade up. I might even come in with just a little bit of black. <laughs> if I was really, really brave, I'd come in with a bit of red. Because it would look like blood. I'm really tempted to do that. I just want to try Grand Espresso before I go with the black soot. I want I want it to be dark, but I feel like the black may be too dark. No, it definitely needs to be black. Okay. <sighs> Using every colour of the dark rainbow today. I may come in. I'm going to dry this off, I'm going to clean up and dry this off and then I'll think about coming in with a little bit of red, just let me think about it because there's definitely red in some of the stickers and I don't want to put, actually, let's do the red right at the end, if we're going to do it we'll do it right at the end because it'll then go down over the top of the stickers which is sort of where I, I another I, I like that idea. I like it being like over the top of everything. Now, I'm being very gentle over the one on the left hand side because that's got the plan to create stickers from last week and I know they've got a bit of plastic in them and I don't want to melt the stickers. So I'm being very gentle. I want to add a little bit of mess around the outside, so I've got, got ground espresso. I'm just adding some, I don't know what you call these swipes. So it sort of looks like dirt. Oh, I like that. I really do. I think that looks really cool. And even though I'm very aware that that's a, a square, 
not really. That's right. It'll be fine. Oh, I like that. I even like the fact that it's curled up a little bit. It just gives it a very cool, old kind of feel. All right. Let's go with the stickers. I've got my day stickers first. I'm going to put them on. I'm going to put them on last. So I've got, I've got these washi strips. I want to use the ones with the the lollipops and the broken broken is not the right word, but maimed um, gingerbread men. Actually, I'm not using the lollipops. I'm using the one with the candy and the maimed gingerbread men. This is going to have some red to it and this is going to then bring in where I might put a bit of red for the for some blood. These are clear too so they will sit with the background on behind it and look really cool. Oh, that's awesome! So I'll do that on both sides. This is why I got two because I knew I wanted to do this. And then I'm debating on the top whether I do the the words or if I do something else. Okay, so the one at the top, I want to use the... Oh, I'm not going to use those words because I'm, I'm going to use them somewhere else. I think I'll use the bats. just gives I'm just putting it just on the top and I'll cut off the excess it gives this cool kind of effect because the um, the sticker itself has like some shadow writing on it it's really cool and it looks really awesome against that background oh Denise the details you put into your washi strips just makes me happy now I don't usually do Halloween I know I've done it once or twice with just like a a very basic sticker kit. I don't, I have funny feelings towards Halloween. I like the general idea of it. I just don't like that I didn't get to celebrate it as a kid. So I kind of have resentment that kids these days do get to celebrate it. Because I always wanted to. I always saw all the American shows and all the American movies. Hocus Pocus is still one of my absolute favorites. And in fact, I was thinking about it. If I had have thought about it properly, I would have done a Hocus Pocus themed week for this week, but I didn't think about it properly and I didn't think of doing it. But if you guys like Halloween, you like these kind of video, like these kind of decorations, um, I may do it next year. That may be what I do next year. But like I said at the start, I have, I have another thought for another Halloween week and because this video obviously goes up the Sunday before Halloween, the next video that goes up actually goes up on how like the next weekly decoration video actually goes up on Halloween I was kind of considering doing a second one so you guys have to let me know if you'd like to see a second Halloween or if it's just silly to do two Halloweens we'll see okay so I've got that down that looks awesome all right my day is down I'm going to do this one really quickly. I love the text on here. Denise has done such a great job with these stickers. Um, so I'm going to put these down and do the numbers and I'll be right back. boxes here I do want to put them back in again but obviously I just need to fix the fact that they're white so I'm just going to put a bit of ink on them no big deal so same thing here with this Halloween one I'm just going to add a little bit of ink over the top and it now it comes back so it'll work really nicely so I don't have anything on this week She's got a bunch of appointments last week, so I, I didn't have too many this week, but that's all right. 
um, yeah, no appointments or anything. So I am gonna leave out boxes places because I need to have boxes places. I'm gonna leave these, I'm gonna have this one with the little witch in the corner. I'm gonna have her sit down here. I'm gonna come over the top in a second with some ink and pull that back. Um, I'm going to grab the one with the haunted house. Oh no, it's got another witch on it, so I'm not. Um, I'm gonna grab this one here that's got the bats and the poison. And then I'm just gonna add in a couple of our little ones. So this one's got some bottles. I'm gonna put that on Thursday. And I'll put one more with this little ghost onto Saturday. And then I'm just gonna use a bit of ink to pull these back. So I'm not putting any more ink on my brushes. I'm just putting what was there and you're just pulling it back a little bit. It's not pulling it back a lot. It's not making it, I might have to put just a little bit of ink on my brush. The idea here isn't to overwhelm them it's just to pull them back so they fit into the, the page. They will stand out a little bit, but that's good. <sighs> Cannot wait to get the clear ones on here. I know I've said it before and I will say it again, Denise's clear stickers are quite possibly the best on the market. Her, the way they just, just disappear. They just disappear. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of these. Oh, actually, no, before I do, I want, I want some of this. And what I want to do, I want to tear it, which is not gonna work because you can't tear this plastic. But I want to make the edges little ragged so I'm thinking this one I'm just gonna cut it in half this one there for a sec so this one needs to be ragged on this side I'm just I'm being messy with it and I'm doing it on purpose so I've kind of made a bit of a, a mess on that background there we go and do the same thing over this side so I'm gonna deliberately make it look a bit torn. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one on the other side and then just cut off the excess. more decorative stickers and then I'm just gonna just chuck on a little bit of blood because when I put these stickers on this is when we'll add in a little bit of red whoops come here I love these little gingerbread men that have been damaged they're very cute these remind me of the black flame candles from now um, that's the other cool thing you can actually up not up um, like layer these and they do look really cool poison bottles just don't want to take up too much room of too much of everything I think it'll be fine no I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it at that um, I'm just gonna see if I can pull this up if I can't it's fine I just had a thought 
I've just ruined her broom, but I'll fix it in a sec. I'm just moving this to go right over the top of that really big water circle. Because just the fact that it's a little bit lighter kind of gives it this cool halo effect. And I can fix the sticker. And I've just made a little mark, but I can fix that too. And I leave it like that. That's cool. I just think that's. Oh, the blood. Yeah, right. So I'm going to grab candied apple because to me that's the most most rare, most blood like. Now it needs to be a little bit more dark. So I'm just going to also chuck in a little bit of aged mahogany. I'm just going to put them together and mix it up. Part of me wants to chuck in some texture paste and kind of make this a bit clunky. But I'm not going to. Uh, this is the same brush I used before, and if it's got some brown in it, I'm actually really okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just tapping this gently because I don't want too much. I don't, it, I don't want it to overdo the rest of it. I'm just doing it in certain little spots. I'm going to put a little bit more up here, right over that other one that had the blood on it. Actually, I'm, I'm really happy with that. That looks cool. All right, so I'm gonna have that sit there to dry for a little while, but while I'm doing that, I can obviously do my do my little outro. So there's my Halloween week. Love this. This kit is amazing. Denise, you did such a great job with your Halloween stickers this year. If you wanna check them out, I'll link them down below, of course, and you can go and do so. You can always put them in your stash and use them next year, or you know what, just use them any year. Heck, use them. We don't celebrate Halloween in Australia. Go nuts. Use it just for a spooky week. Why not? No harm in spooky weeks. Um, but yeah, I love I love this. I think it looks it looks really really cool. If you do too, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials as well. I hope you guys have a very very spooky week, and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. <laughs>